Samuel? Are you there? Please, say something! for you. Ow! What, what's wrong with you? I don't know who you are. I don't know my own husband. You disappear every night. You only talk when it's absolutely necessary. Where is the man that I married, Samuel? I want my husband back! <gasps> Get on with it! Stick the damn fuse back in! I want to open the store! Hmm, let's see. A few plastic containers, bottles and boxes, light bulbs, cables, grease. Aha, uh -huh. and a small carton of fuses. Hopefully the fuses work. You never know in this place. An old dust-encrusted fuse box. There are a lot of wires coming out of the top of it, which then run along the floor joists. <laughs> Doesn't look exactly safe. Okay, then. Just like everything else of Fuller's, pretty well junk. The blown fuse must be under here. Huh, Fuller's already had a go at it. But again, he couldn't sort it out. The three other fuses look fine, but this one's had it. I should throw that away, otherwise I'll get mixed up. Huh, there's just one fuse left in the box, but at least it looks unused. I reckon it's still out of work. Ah, oh, that's that. Now all we need is some power. Okay, so let's have a look. Ah, let there be light. Don't need this anymore. So let's go up. A wonderful working day awaits, full of appreciation and deep personal fulfillment. Ugh. Finally! You make a big deal about going to college, but you're too sappy to replace a fuse. Put that board outside in front of the store. Get on with it! The store isn't doing very well. I don't think a cheap sign is going to change that. 
<sighs> but what the hell? Someone's really turned your head. Huh? You've put it the wrong way around. Uh, yeah. I'd like to get some portrait stuff. Some pretty black and white pictures. Have I come to the right place? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're at just the right place. Black and white photography is my specialty. Wonderful. So let's get started. My name's Angelina, by the way. Oh, well, I'm Darren. Let's go inside. Welcome to Fuller's Photography Store. What can I do for you? Uh, I wanted to get some portraits done. Ooh. Very good. We can start right away, dear lady. But... I thought Darren would... What? But he's just an errand boy. A pretty child like you deserves a real photographer. Here, go and pick up the post and take this letter to Mrs. Baiba in the diner in the main square. I've got... things to do. Son of a... Just down the street. Thanks a lot. Some people. That's Mrs. Biber, I think. As far as I can understand it, she runs this place with a husband. Um, excuse me. What can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm, I'm here to give you something. It's... it's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. I can guess what this is about. The dirty old swine! should have known. Vermin ain't so easy to get rid of. Tell him I... Uh. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Uh, whatever it is, you... Uh... Claire! You gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting! Get out of here. And tell your boss he can go to hell. Jeez. What the hell was that all about then? Huh. She sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen, he sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. That's a postcard of Biddeford. It's very useful for getting from one part of town to the next. But I can't just go off across the town right now. I've still got things to do here. That's a postcard, but I can't just go off... Hello? Young man! You're Darren Michaels, aren't you? Yes, and you are? Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. <laughs> at the health center? You mean at the hospital out there? Well, yes. We call it the Biddeford Health Center. We we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me? I... Yes, I... I know your mother, Darren. We had a date here this morning, to be more precise. Me and her. 
We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Yes, and she... She's not there. She's normally always... She's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. It, maybe she's forgotten about your little meeting, Doc. If you say so, but actually... I gotta go. I'll call Mom later and tell her that you're waiting for her in... in the health center. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> And then I said to him, Jason, I need a new car, urgently. Oh, yeah. And then? What can I say? It's parked right outside. Um, excuse me? Have you got something wrong with your ears? No, I just wanted a package. Hmm. Something wrong with your eyes, then? Huh? Listen, I'm talking here. Can't you see that? Yeah. I can see you as clear as day, unfortunately. But I have to collect a package for Fuller at the photo store. There'll be no line jumping in this store. You're online, okay? Now wait until I'm ready. Ugh, the young kids today. Always. I'm always having a fight with them. Bad parents, that's what it is. That car belongs to the world record talking lady from the shop. Hmm. Could be useful. Hello, is it something like my turn now? Please, don't let me rush you. <sighs> what do you want? I'm supposed to collect something for Fuller. From the photo studio? Collection note? This is the one, right here. Have you still got another note? There's another package for Fuller here. Uh, afraid not. Can I take it anyway? Hmm. I might turn a blind eye for nice customers. So you're not gonna give it to me then? Hell no! He's sick. That disgusting... Pig! What's going on? Your lovely boss. Does he always try to grope his customers? Uh, no, only the women. That's not funny. Uh, no, of course not. What can I say? Fuller's an asshole. Well, he's never going to see me again. Darren, would you bring the photos to the hotel for me? Uh, of course. My pleasure. Thanks, Darren. That's really nice of you. I'm staying at the Wild Coast, room number five. No problem. <laughs> You'll have them this afternoon. Thanks, my hero. <laughs> See you later. Huh. That's the guy from the diner. Is he following Angelina? Hey! You're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. 
shore. Back to work. Hey, you got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. So now, get to work. The shelves here could use with the dusting and the gutters leaky. And you still gotta take my mama's dogs for a walk. Go back to the post office again and ask if the new photo paper's already arrived. The mailman still hasn't brought a collection note. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. He's cranky. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. Nice job. Okay then. But before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was gonna take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've got to get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without Fuller catching me doing it. Seems like she's on the phone. What the hell are you doing using my phone? While you're on the clock? I'm gonna take it out of your... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I just wanted to call my mother, but it was busy. It's not gonna make you go bust. <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone, right? She already called up once while I was shooting that sweet... Some drivel about Adrian and a mirror. I hung up. I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap. My mother called, and you didn't tell me? The old lady's not all there in the head anymore, huh? Where are you going? You're not on your own time yet! Mom? Mom! Mom! Her heart's beating, she's alive! Okay, think, Darren. I need an ambulance. Emergency? Yes. My name is Darren Michaels. I, I, I've just found my mother. She's unconscious. Take it to the hospital. But take it real easy. I'll be following in my car in a minute. How does it look? Difficult to say, Dan. She must have stumbled, and now she's got a serious head injury. Exactly how bad it is, we can only find that out in the hospital. But, but how can she fall so badly that she... It's not the time for that now. W was your mother taking any kind of medication? Uh, I, I don't know. She always has a load of painkillers for her back. I, I, no idea. Please, collect anything that looks like medication and bring it back to me in the hospital. What about allergies? Um, not that I know about. <laughs> That's not good enough. Could you find out the family doctor's number? Perhaps get a hold of her medical records? I, I, yeah, yeah, I'll go look. I'll see you in the hospital. Very good. Oh, yeah. And we need your mother's insurance card. That too? Uh, okay, P please, can you hurry? <sighs> oh, man. Medication, insurance card, med history. I better hurry. That's Mom's medicine dispenser. There's a box for every day of the week. She always used to joke about it. She said that because of her back, she consumed more pills a day than a whole old folks home. But she never took as much as she was actually prescribed. She always maintained that she'd just forgotten to. The old home doctor then gave her the dispenser at some point. I always found it rather stupid not to take your medicine, preferring to suffer in agony.
That's gotta be most of the medication. But maybe she's got more somewhere else. I should check. Mom's handbag. All her papers must be in there. found the insurance card. There's nothing else of interest in there. And I can earn my own money. Mom's bathroom. Like her old place, nothing special. We weren't poor, but my mother was always modest. And by the looks of it, so is this place. Aha, some medicines. Boxes, little bottles, tubes. I'll take it all with me. I think that's it. I found all the medication. Plant on the windowsill. No idea what kind it is. Hmm. Looks like there's something under the flower pot. It's a little brass key. I think the furniture's still from her time in England. Quite old fashioned, but stylish somehow. got here? Handkerchiefs, a glasses case, an art magazine, a few Valerian draggies. Hmm, nothing I could use. Ah, my mother's address book. I ought to find her doctor's number in there. the address book open. Now then, what was that doctor called? Dr. Wakefield. That's him. And here's his number. I just hope he's still got my mother's old medical records. Hopefully the number's still okay. Dr. Wakefield, 555. Dr. Wakefield's practice? My name's Darren Michaels. I, I have to speak to the doctor. It's an emergency. One moment, please. Dr. Wakefield speaking. Uh, hello, Dr. Wakefield. This is Darren Michaels. Darren, is there something wrong with your mother? Mandy said. Yes, she's been taken to the hospital. She's fallen over and, and taken a knock to the head. She's not responsive. My god. The hospital needs her medical history. Do you still have it? Yes. Yes, we must still have it here. C can you fax it over to the hospital? Yes, of course. Hopefully nothing's happened to her back. Wouldn't the support corset protect her? Not necessarily. The corset supports her spine when she's standing up or sitting. But her back has been so badly affected since the accident that a fall can have repercussions. I don't think I want to know. I'll just go down to the hospital and find out there. Do that. I'll have the record sent to Biddeford. I hope your mother gets well soon. Yeah, me too. Give her my best wishes as soon as she's awake. I'll do that. See you later, Doc. Well, that's done. Dr. Wakefield has always cared well for Mom. With that back of hers, she could barely stand, sit, or lie down without causing her pain. And then she has the burns as well. And now this.